Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Explain to Your Basic Training, hosted by yours truly, Rick Neal from ProSlidePacks.com. We are introducing a new training format today, and so this video today is going to be our intro video to let you know how we're going to lay out our courses and everything else in the format of the, um, the videos we're going to produce. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do from this point forward is I know I've heard the screams and I've heard the hollers, so you don't hear any music. I am going to create versions with music. So there. But for right now, I'm, I am going to just make the videos plain. And I know not everyone wants to look at a 30 and 45 minute video. So what we're also going to do is we're going to segment the videos up to be just focusing on a particular area like the first videos that you're going to see are going to be turn uh start explaining you up what do you do and then we're going to go into uh loading up the different items the slides and the sws and everything else and then we're going to go into each one of those and show you how to basically get around that's what we're going to do first we want to make sure that you can walk through the interface and do the basic stuff now you're going to have to be patient because I need to get you to crawl before you can walk. So we're going to be going through the stuff, letting you know what it does, give you some basics. Okay, then when we get all the basics done, well, I should say I, when I get all the basics done, then we'll go back in and deep dive into the animation points and the pause control and the green screen and, you know, how to use a lot of the stuff in there, like the the intro you just saw, I just saved that as an export scene by using this button right there. We're going to get into that. When you go into the canvas, there are people saying, well, they're having a hard time positioning stuff. Okay, well, if you go into paper over here, there's a grid you can use. We're going to talk about a lot of that kind of stuff. So uh, this is just the intro video just to let you know what we're going to do. And so you're going to see my intro up and then you'll see the second screen. that will tell you exactly what we're going to be talking about for that particular uh, video, instead of it being introduction, it'll be whatever the video subject is, and then um, we will go from there, okay? So I did, this is just a short intro video, just like I said, just to let you know what is upcoming. So hopefully that will help you and help you navigate around. That way you can just get the video you need. That video shouldn't be more than um, five, ten minutes, you know, and then that way you can uh, move forward or go back to just that point, you know. So, yeah, the video is going to get you to a certain point, and then they're going to stop. Then the next video will take you on to the next point because some people just need reminders in certain areas. So I'm just going to break up the functionality where there's the proverbial fork in the road where you have a choice to go either way. Then we're going to stop right there and then we'll just take a video to go on each one of those paths and explore what you can do there. Uh, and then down the road, we are going to have some advanced courses and uh, I'm going to uh, show a few folks a little bit of coding. So, um, but that's coming up down the road. And for organizations, I'm, I'm doing some specialized videos for the Moose Lodge and for the American Legion because there are people who want to use Explainio inside for their in-house advertising and uh, for some of their websites. And they want to do some stuff on their Facebook pages because they've seen some of the things I've done. So I'm um, going to be uh, specializing in training for corporations and uh, and uh, organizations. But that that's neither here nor there. Just this is the intro video. I'm introducing everything. So I'm at the four minute mark. Let me get out of here. And the first video coming up is what do you do when you turn it on? How do you load up a slide? And uh, maybe one or two other points for that first video. And then we're going to get into when you load up a slide, how you modify it and all the other things you can do with it, as well as a video and the uh, bitmap image and, you know, the whole nine yards. So we're going to get into it. Thank you from Rick at ProSidePlex.com.